Steph Raven Christian here on Vlogtober the 11th. Um, today's a and a I posted some list of questions on Tumblr and some people asked me some questions. So I'm going to respond to them. A lot of people asked me the same questions. The most commonly asked question was naughty, which is the three things my parents disapprove of. I haven't really thought about these before I've started talking, so we'll see how we go. Because I really, I've got a study today and I wanted to get this out of the way. Um, but before I do start, big thank you to everyone who sent me really nice and supportive messages about, you know, the waiting process for me yesterday. Um, wasn't really my attention, but, um, to get that many messages about that, but I really appreciate it. Um, I didn't actually end up getting a phone call yesterday, which was really disappointing to me, and I re realised it's a public holiday today, so I'm not probably going to get a phone call today either and I'm trying to be okay with that, so we'll see how we go. Um, but first off, uh, this is in order that they were asked in. Um, so game, so the last board game I played, the last board game I played was, that is a very good question. The last two table, the last game I played on the table, on a tabletop was Zombie Dice, the last game I played, which was a card game, was Cards Against Humanity. The last board game I played would... I guess who? Um, Superhero Squad Show, guess who? That's a board game, right? I played that. That was probably the most recent game I played on. The, the next question is naughty. Three things my parents disapprove of. My parents are really, really different. Like, polar opposites. So, three things my dad would disapprove of would be things that my mother approved of if that makes sense. Um, so things for dad would be sex before marriage, homosexuality, and what's something else he disapproves of? Not going to university. Um, on my mother's side, she disapproves of not living life the way you want to live it, feeling constrained by religion, and She disapproves of me when I disapprove of her, so she kind of disapproves disapproval. I don't know. Um, Mum's not big on disapproving much. She's very happy with us and just proud of us and who we are and just wants us to be happy and wants to be happy herself. So she tends not to focus on disapproval so much as approval. Hi Mum, by the way, you do watch these. I don't know why I've just said that, but there you go. Um, quality, my three favourite blogs. Why do people keep asking me this question? Oh, if I had to pick, three favorite vlogs, I don't know, um, it's a hard question because a lot of people I follow are, um, uh, my friends and they're people and I don't want to turn it into anything it's not, um, probably my, and to be honest, my top three friends vlogs, Probably would bore the crap out of most people, but they're my best friends, so I love them. Um, instead, I'm going to say three favourite webcomics, which at the moment is Looking for Group, Girls with Slingshot, and Questionable Content. Um, probably, if you are incredibly Christian, don't do Girls with Slingshots or Questionable Content, but Looking for Group is hilarious. I love it. Um, Richard's one of my favourite comic book characters, actually, of all time at the moment, so. Um, dopey and Embarrassing Story. I make vlogs on the internet. <laughs> You've seen most of my embarrassing stories, surely. My favourite colour is green, but not all shades of green. But then again, I like blue and purple and silver and cream. I, yeah, um, um, cup, tea or coffee, tea. Um, and Unite, what I want to Um, I'm a, a sponsor of Falling whistles every couple of months when I can afford to, I send them a donation. Um, but the largest, the, you know, it's not much, the largest chunk of my donation money goes to probably the Oxfam Unwrapped. Um, at Christmas time, we buy people cards that are Oxfam cards, and that's what we give as gifts um, because we don't want to support the commercialism, but we do want to say that we care and that we, you know, we wanted to give you a gift. So that happens for us. So Oxfam Unwrapped is our big. It's really the big charity, and my husband and I sponsor two compassion children in Peru. Um, yeah, and I'm going to leave it there because it's getting long, and 
yeah, maybe I'll come up with a really good embarrassing story later. It's probably quite a few. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go, but I will, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!